everybody. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe. Um, this is, I guess, a face reveal, kind of, or at least my first intro. So uh, in the video, I'll just be doing a simple unboxing video of baits that I got from Black Friday from Tackle Warehouse. So I hope you guys enjoy. First, we'll start out with this. This is a Spro Aruku Shad, uh, lipless crankbait in the junior size, so not very big. You can kind of hear the rattles too. It's kind of a tinny rattle. Next, here is a Lucky Craft jerkbait in the 110 size, a suspending jerkbait, so it doesn't really sink. It kind of just stays in the water col uh, column. Kind of just floats around, and this is in the Aurora black colorway. Um, sweet looking color. Hopefully it will get some reaction strikes from bass. And uh, jerk baits are supposed to work pretty well in cold water situations, but they're also known to uh, work in the summer because they have a violent uh, erratic reaction. So they're supposed to trigger some pretty big strikes from uh, some fish. Next, this is a jackal riser bait. So this is a topwater bait and there's a propeller in the back. So basically the uh, front is open or hollow rather, and it's supposed to kind of, I think when the water goes into the bait itself and somehow it helps with the action of the bait to make it kind of, I think kind of makes it like a, moves in a zigzag pattern. So it's kind of interesting. So I thought when it, why not just try it? And this is in the bluegill colorway, I believe. Next, this is a dual hardcore jerk bait in the white, and there's also some blue and chartreuse and orange uh, little belly right there. And this is in the 95 uh, size, and this is a, another suspending jerk bait. Minnow flat is what it's called. Next, this is an Eco Pro Tungsten Spinnerbait in the Spot Remover colorway. So basically, spinnerbaits are supposed to mimic groups of uh, baitfish or shad. And it's a nice looking uh, transparent, almost chartreuse with uh, silver and some black flake you can see. And it's also tungsten, so it's eco-friendly compared to lead. So, yeah. Uh, next, this is a Jackal Kaira, so another topwater lure, but this is a frog in another gill pattern, but for this color exactly, it's a Glitter Hasu, I think. Pretty sweet looking bait. You can see it's sparkly, it's got some purple, some blue on top, but I guess the top really doesn't matter in terms of topwater frogs. You want to look at the bottom, so it's kind of clear and white. Next, these are some Jackal Archelons. So it's a supposedly pretty good beaver bait or beaver style bait. And they almost look like a trial bite almost. So, uh, yeah, I was thinking about using these as like a Texas rig or maybe a jig trailer. I wasn't really sure. And a four and a half size or four and a half inches rather. Next. Next, this is an emo lure in a almost another, almost exactly the same colorway, but rather than having that blue and chartreuse back, it's just white. But it's got the orange belly, another jerk bait. Also with emo, I've noticed that their eyes are exactly like their bait, or their little logo right there. So I thought it was pretty cool. Next, another emo lure. This is a lipless crankbait. And it's a lot larger, at least in terms of like thickness, I guess. Kind of like the width is a lot larger compared to other lipless crankbaits that I've seen. There's also some rattles and you can see the, a few, uh, I think tungsten bearings or something. I'm not really sure, but anyway, metal bearings that probably help with casting and kind of give some noise off to hopefully attract fish. Um, these are some, just some, uh, jig trailers for jigs that I'll be showing pretty soon. These are just in the brown colorway, simple. Um, some jack cover craws, so I was thinking about matching these with some, uh, swim bait hooks. 
Uh, I read somewhere that they work pretty well together, so just thought, why not try it? Something new. Basically, uh, well, I don't even know basically, but uh, they're supposed to mimic craw, craw, crayfish, craws, whatever you want to call them. And these are in a pumpkin pepper colorway. Next, these are next. These are some treble hooks, size four, as well as size six, just to replace some duller, kind of crappier hooks that come with uh, stock baits that I already have. So just thought that'd be a good upgrade to have. Um, here's another lipless crankbait, a Jackal TN60, yeah, 60, and it's a half an ounce, size 2.4 inches. You can kind of hear it. It's like, a, I think it's just a one knocker essentially, so that just means it kind of has a, like a louder, lower bang compared to, like, for example, this, which has like a tinier rattle to it. And this is in a Sprinkle Wakasaki? Yeah, Sprinkle Wakasagi colorway. And yeah, we'll test that marketing out. Okay, yeah, here are the uh, some swim bait hooks that I was thinking about matching with those uh, those Jackal cover crop. They're two out size, so they're kind of on the smaller size, but uh, hopefully they look good together. Uh, next, this is another jerk bait by Jackal, the Rerange 110, and this is 4.3 inches and half an ounce. Let's see the color. This is RT Minnow. It also has like the holographic kind of look. Also, but it's opaque rather than transparent. It gives off some pretty nice flash. Next. These are some more jig trailers that I was just thinking about matching with the uh, football um, jigs, which is one of them right here, the uh, peanut butter jelly one. Basically, peanut butter jelly is like a brown, rustic orange kind of colorway with like purple strands you might be able to see. The packaging doesn't make it really, uh, I guess you can kind of see it. And there's also flake in it too, that's purple. So, yeah. Trying to add to my jig arsenal. Um, yeah, here's some steel leader or steel leader wire for hopefully if I go pike fishing soon. Leave your leave leave a comment if you want to see me pike fish, or maybe just hit me up on Instagram if you want to go. I don't know. I guess it would be something to do, or as well as fish in the winter because uh, fishing you will you don't really have much options besides ice uh, ice fishing. So yeah. I'm stoked to try it, but yeah, this is just supposed to uh, prevent pike and other toothy critters from biting the, uh, your line off and potentially losing your lures and losing lots of money. So yeah, hopefully that comes in handy. Next, I just have some braid scissors, but I was thinking about using these more so as split ring pliers because there's that little uh, sharp end right there. So that's supposed to uh, help with uh, changing out hooks hooks that I showed earlier as well as uh they work as braid scissors because braid is not very good for regular scissors they kind of make your uh the blade dull down so also these are folding too so you can never have too many uh scissors finally these are just some fish grippers um pretty self-explanatory just put these at the in the mouth of a fish Thanks guys for watching. As always, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I guess just comment what you liked about the video and whether you want me to have other unboxing videos later. Thanks for watching.